Hey, welcome to the Devastink Farm. And uh, got the billy goat here today. And I think you just got one in the mail. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to put it together. It's really simple. Um, but one important point is I wanna help you size it. Because the billy goat, um, you know, one reason we really wanted to make it is because the single handle broad forks um, they seem to be made in only one size, you know, when you have a double handle broad fork, you can hold it in any length, but this, that's permanent. Um, so we made one that uh, can work for anybody from like five feet tall to six foot three. So I'm going to show you how to do that. But the first thing you want to do is put the T on, okay? That's the top T. Okay, this is my Billy Goat. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna get all the way up in there, okay? I'm just giving a little tap, because I want, this is gonna go all the way on. And you're gonna see little holes, and you wanna put a, a screw in every single hole. Okay, and before you start, there should be a little bottle of oil with yours, okay? It's an all natural tongue oil. It's got no drying agents in it or anything. Um, so it's gonna take it longer to dry, but that's okay. Uh, leave it out in the sun, it'll be fine. Uh, you can treat all of your wood with that. Um, it's just gonna make your broad fork look nice for a longer period of time. It's gonna look great. Uh, that bottle is gonna be enough to do it, you know, give you like four or five coats if you want. You can use it on the wood and the metal, right? The metal can be oiled too. You'll get a little patina of rust, but it's not affecting the broad fork at all. Um, we just didn't think it was, you know, to powder coat it, it's just plastic. That's just plastic on it. And that's just gonna flake off in your soil anyway. So <clears throat> why not just make it pure? It's high carbon steel. You don't have to worry about the little bit of coating rust. It's not gonna hurt it. If you wanna keep it looking nice, just put some oil on it and it would be fine. Okay, so we get the T on, okay? And every hole, Right, we're gonna send you more than enough screws. You just put a uh, screw in there. All right, then the next thing you put on is the T. Okay, and all you're gonna do is center that. Okay, all right, so you just want it centered, right? Get it nice, and then Okay, and if it's important to you, you know, I like to put the little brand where the point is on this side. But it's obviously not going to make any difference on how it, well it, it brought forks or anything. Okay, so then this is where the size comes in, right? So it's how deep you put it. In. That's why you have this long barrel, okay? So I'm going to show you how you check, okay? Is you just put it under your arm. Okay, you don't want it like pushing you off. You just want to be comfortably standing. Okay, and mine I put a little too deep. Okay, let's give a little twist, lift it up. Okay, yeah, I just like it comfortably touching underneath my arm, and that's how you know it's at your right height. Okay, check. Okay, perfect. Okay, and I am, and then put it on the table and make sure your T is straight with your broad fork. That's important. You don't want to put it at an angle. So make sure you have a nice flat table, check it. Make sure this is parallel with the table. This is sitting flat. Okay, now there's some offset screws and you want to Put a screw in each hole. Okay, I'm gonna put the two on the back first, so it's not gonna move. Okay, and that is that. And now if you use it and you find that you like it a little higher or lower, 
then you can just take all those screws out and then move it. And I'm gonna show you how it functions. You know, this T1 is just, it's a lot lighter to carry around, a lot easier to use. You see, I like that T right here. Right? I don't wanna be down here, you know? Uh, so it's important that it's at your right height. Okay. Okay, you can either do it from the side or, and I don't mind stepping in the bed, especially if it's towards where I'm broad forking. Okay. And you just want to go the length of the times. And just crack it. That's all you're doing. You're not disturbing anything, right? Just give it a little bit of a crack. That's it. It just gets a little air down into the soil. All right. Well, thanks for watching and enjoy your broad fork.